Like their human mom and dad, celebrity pets live glamorous and fancy lives. And best of all, they enjoy it without any of the stress that comes with stardom. But you don't have to be a celebrity to feel that strong bond to a dog, cat, fish, or whatever animal you decide to take care of. Most of us have had that connection with a pet that we love so dearly, so that's why losing them is so hard and painful. Even more so if instead of dying of natural causes, they're taken from you. And that's exactly what happened to two of Lady Gaga's French bulldogs, Koji and Gustav, who were stolen from their dog walker in the streets of LA. The incident was even more terrible than it sounds because the dog walker was shot as he tried to prevent them from being stolen. Keep watching because today I'll tell you the truth about what happened to Lady Gaga's dogs. First of all, who's the man that got shot trying to protect Lady Gaga's dogs? His name is Ryan Fisher, and it looks like he lives for his job. Ryan even has an Instagram page completely dedicated to his business called Valley of the Dogs, and he uses it to share pictures of some of the dogs he walks and trains. He also shares heartwarming stories about dogs and raises awareness of dog-related issues. He's known Lady Gaga for a long time now. Back in 2015, he shared a picture of her with the caption, it's the stage mo of my three favorite Frenchies. Apart from his profound love for animals, Ryan is also a talented musician. Now, thanks to his actions, he's also the hero of many dog lovers and little monsters out there. Here is his story. On the night of February 24th, Ryan Fisher was walking Koji, Gustav, and Asia in the streets of West Hollywood. A video from a neighbor's surveillance camera shows Ryan on the sidewalk when a white car slows down and eventually stops next to him. Immediately after, two men step out of the car and attempt to take the dogs. Ryan resisted and one of the men pointed a gun at him and instructed him to give it up. Ryan can be heard yelling for help and trying to keep the dogs with him, but the armed man ends up firing the gun at him. Ryan then falls to the ground after being shot and the men take Koji and Gustav and jump back into the car. The third dog, Asia, was spared and stayed close to Ryan, who yelled for help and tried to inform people that the dogs had been taken. When the neighbors heard Ryan, they immediately called 911. The whole scene is heart-wrenching, and you can see Ryan truly behaved like a hero. Once the police got to the crime scene, Ryan was transported to the hospital in stable condition. As he was being treated, his family told the media that he was receiving extraordinary care in the hospital, and that the doctors expected him to make a full recovery. Ryan's family also thanked nurses, doctors, and Lady Gaga, who, according to them, had shown nothing but non-stop love and concern for Ryan and his family right from the outset. They finished by saying, that Ryan loves the dog just as much as Lady Gaga does. At the time of the dog napping, Lady Gaga was shooting a movie in Italy. Can you imagine how desperate she must have felt being so far away? On February 26, she posted a picture of Koji and Gustav on Instagram with the caption, My beloved dogs Koji and Gustav were taken in Hollywood two nights ago. My heart is sick and I'm praying my family will be whole again with an act of kindness. I will pay $500,000 for their safe return. Email Koji and Gustav at gmail.com to contact us. Or if you bought or found them unknowingly, the reward is the same. I continue to love you, Ryan Fisher. You risked your life to fight for my family. You're forever a hero. After spending four days in the hospital, Ryan finally broke his silence about what had happened. He shared a picture of him on a hospital bed connected to a ventilator, and then he detailed how, while he was on the floor as the car with the criminal sped away, he could feel Asia's tiny body next to him. Ryan then wrote, I cradled Asia as best as I could, thanked her for all the incredible adventures we've been on together, apologized that I couldn't defend her brothers, and then resolved that I would still try to save them, and myself. Even in all the pain and shock that Ryan was going through, he felt reassured by thinking that at least Asia would be okay, which is really sweet. No wonder why Lady Gaga loves him so much. Ryan and Lady Gaga's Instagram posts had the best possible effect. Thanks to the social media coverage, the dogs were shortly returned to their home. On February 26, a woman who's not believed to be connected to the robbery found Koji and Gustav in an alley tied to a pole. She took them to the LA Police Department where she claimed she'd been able to recognize the dogs because of the media coverage. Investigations about the whole robbery are still happening, but the authorities seem to believe that the dogs were abandoned after the story of their robbery and their famous owner blew up on social media. This raises the question, did the dog nappers know that the dogs belonged to Lady Gaga? Did they target them specifically? There's no answer for this yet, but what we do know so 
far is that there's a high demand for French Bulldogs like Koji and Gustav on the black market. French Bulldogs are an increasingly popular breed among celebrities and stars like Cara Delevingne, Megan Thee Stallion, and John Legend all have Frenchies as pets. It was a gift and you know he's just been my little blessing ever since he's gonna be turning one next month the fact that these dogs are so popular in hollywood gives the breed more visibility and therefore it increases the demand it also doesn't help that french bulldogs are easy to snatch because they're small and they also tend to be gentle so dog nappers don't fear being bitten they can be sold from anything between one thousand five hundred dollars and five thousand dollars so that's why lady gaga used her instagram post to address people who may have unknowingly bought them luckily koji and gustav were rescued from an uncertain fate. The next step is that the criminals pay for what they did. This case is a good example of how social media can be used for positive things. Without the media coverage, Gaga's dogs wouldn't have been returned as quickly. Her fans also use the app to support her with tons of love comments. And the thing is, there's some celebrity pets that we grow attached to after seeing them on social media for so long. And when this happens and they die, we can't help but feel their pain. That's the case of many other celebrities who are animal lovers and felt devastated when they lost their pets. The most recent an example is Miley Cyrus. This January 2021, Miley went on Instagram to share that her dog, Mary Jane, had passed away after battling cancer for a long time. Miley wrote, MJ was diagnosed with cancer over a year ago, and since then, multiple types and tumors. Then she said, I was told it would be an uncertain amount of time until she's gone, advised to spend every second savoring anything new. I had been for 10 years. Miley has several pets, including many dogs, but also pigs, cats, and horses. Mary Jane died of natural causes, but that's not the case of Waldo, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner's dog. Waldo passed away in 2019 after being hit by a car in New York, which happened after he got scared by a pedestrian, broke free, and ran into the street. After Waldo's death, Joe and Sophie got matching tattoos in his honor. But dogs are not the only pet beloved by celebrities. Laura Dern's goldfish died in March 2020 after she had had him for 14 years. This is incredible because when they're pets, they usually live only from five to ten years. I know most of us wish pets would live forever, but I think that the most important thing is that they live happy and healthy lives. I have no doubt that Koji, Gustav, and Miss Asia are some of the luckiest dogs alive. If they weren't such famous dogs, they could have easily been sold and never seen their mom again. Or if someone else has found them in the alleyway, they may never have been returned at all. I don't know about you, but for me, it's unbelievable that someone could steal someone's dogs who are basically family. And the worst part is that they even shot Ryan to get them. Ugh, I'm so happy that he's recovering the hospital though. What do you think about this dog napping situation? Let me know in the comments below.